Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry that it has been absolutely forever since I posted a sit down talk video. I've kind of stuck to covers a lot of the year. Sorry, but I'm trying to do better. And what better way to reintroduce me to sit down videos is to talk about something I'm so passionate about. TikTok. I feel like I need to jazz this up a bit. There we go. feel much better now. So if you hadn't have guessed by the title of this video, what I'm going to do is to try and help you go viral and grow on TikTok because I have done so. So just so you know that I'm not talking out my arse for the entirety of this video, I will let you in on some key facts. One, I have amassed over 406,800 likes across all of my TikToks in total. And I also have gained over 10.7K followers as well. 19 of my videos have had over 10,000 views on TikTok, which is quite good when you're a smaller creator. And all of them that I have posted have over a thousand views, which I know some smaller creators struggle to even get to. And so far I have had 2,693,797 views across all of my TikToks, which is insane to even think about. So in this video, I'm basically gonna break it down for you. How did I go viral on TikTok? And I'm gonna be telling you all the hints and tips that I have gathered throughout my time posting on TikTok. First off, let me tell you the main thing, and that is get a pro account. It's absolutely free, and as a small creator, it is so, so handy. So to do that, you go onto your settings, and it's literally there, pro account, and you get a pro account. You may have to wait a couple of days, which is completely fine. And then once you get it, the, the, the world is your oyster. It lets you keep track of how many followers you're gaining, how well your videos are doing. It tells you which of your videos are doing better than others. It tells you about your demographic, whether you have a more male or female audience. It also tells you the territory that you have the most followers. Said, which is also very handy for a, a later point. For one, keep an eye out for trending content, videos, challenges. There are times where I've hopped on a trend. There was one point where everyone and their mother was using the mirror effect on TikTok. I jumped on that trend and it is now my most liked and most viewed video on the platform. And I did it at a time where the mirror effect was just kind of bubbling. Try and put your own spin on it. For instance, my spin was, I did the mirror effect with my disfigurement, so it was my disfigurement in both sides, and it was quite funny, and everyone seemed to love it. Number two, discover your niche or group. And what I mean by this is, really look at your content, look at all your videos, which of your videos have the most likes and most views. This can give you sort of a heads up as to what kind of videos your followers or people are interacting with most. For instance, with me, my most popular videos are the ones where I've made fun of my own disfigurement. And it's fine, I'm quite happy with that. And from that, I've managed to build an audience and also managed to gain over 10,000 followers. That's not to say just post that kind of content. I'm just meaning that once you discover your niche and you rein people in, the world is your oyster to start posting other types of content as well. The next tip that I will give you is to hop on trending effects. TikTok is constantly adding new effects, promoting effects. So if you are scrolling on the For You page and you keep seeing a similar effect being used in multiple videos, guess what? It's most likely being pushed by TikTok. So hop on it and try and put your own spin on it. And just maybe you'll break the mold and help get your video on the For You page. For instance, as I mentioned earlier, I noticed that a lot of people were using the mirror effect and I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I used it for my disfigurement? And it worked. The next tip that I can give you is to keep an eye out for trending sounds. There are multiple ways to do this. One of the main ways to do this is if you are scrolling on the For You page and you are constantly hearing the same song over and over and over again in multiple videos, it is a good indicator that TikTok is promoting that sound. And if you use it, there is a higher chance that your video will get on the For You page. This has worked for me multiple times. Another way to know whether a sound is trending or about to trend is actually by checking how many videos are listed in the sound, which you can do by clicking on the little, um, in the bottom left, in the bottom right, there's a sort of album spinner. And you click on that, it'll take you to the sound. It tells you how many people have used that sound in a video. And anything under a million is probably gonna bubble and your content 
could be pushed. The next tip that I can give you is to follow TikTok tips and trick accounts. This has worked for me. I don't tend to do it for how to grow. I just tend to use them for when they notify me and others about trending sounds or effects. So the two that I follow are Jackson's Tips and How to Grow on TikTok. I will leave their links in the description. And yes, they are American and I'm from the UK, but that's the thing. If there is a trend, it is worldwide. It is not specified to each location. The next tip, and this goes hand in hand with your pro account, is one of the main things that you can do with the pro account is it tells you where your audience is mainly based. So for me, my main audience is the United Kingdom. And for a lot of people, it'll be where they are. However, in some cases, it's been the opposite and it's somewhere else. You can look up when the best time to post are in correlation to where your biggest audience is. And that'll help capitalise on views and likes because it'll show up on people's pages when they are most active in that country. The next tip that I can give you is about the length of your video. If you hadn't guessed by now, a lot of the sounds on TikTok only run for 15 seconds, which gives you a good indicator that the content that is mainly pushed on TikTok are the videos which are 15 seconds or less. Especially if you're a smaller creator, because once obviously you're a bigger creator, you can rein people in with the attention of watching a longer video. However, when you're a smaller creator, you really need to be engaging them in a smaller amount of time because the way the TikTok algorithm works is if you get people watching your video for X amount of time, it'll promote your content even more. Or if you have a really short watch time, TikTok will just be like, nah, hun, it's not happening. Another great way to grow and go viral on TikTok is to duet people, duet everyone famous TikTokers and smaller creators. So if you are duetting a famous TikToker like Charlie, who is the most followed person on the platform, it can actually help your video appear on her followers for you pages because your content involves her. Great, right? That's a great way to help people come to your page and follow and like your content. Another great way to do it is by duetting smaller creators because that can actually encourage them to come over to your page and like and engage with your videos as well. Speaking of Charlie, a lot of her videos are dances and if you are a dance TikToker, the best advice I can give to you is if there is a dance trend, you need to hop on it quick because if you don't hop on it quick, your video will just get lost in a sea of dance videos. So when you literally hear of a new song or you see a new trend, literally try and hop on it as fast as you can, try and learn it and get it out in a good manner, but also like, you know, make sure, make sure it's good. That is the best advice I can give you. The next tip that I can give you to help you grow, especially on TikTok, is to reply to every comment that you get. Three times out of five, when I have replied to someone that's left a comment on my TikTok, they have actually then followed me. Uh, some cases they've already followed me or they follow me regardless but a lot of the time when the person is not following me and they see that I've replied they're, they sort of think oh my goodness that person replies to comments I'll follow them. Next tip that I can give you which is also kind of a milestone moment as well is when you hit 1000 followers on TikTok after a day of hitting that you have the ability to go live on TikTok and this is honestly one of the best ways to help you grow on TikTok. On average, with every single live that I have done on TikTok, I've gained in between 100 to 250 followers per live. It's honestly a great way to build new following because TikTok has a great feature called Top Lives and I have every single time that I have gone live, I have featured on TikTok's Top Lives crazy i don't understand and another way it's great to actually engage with your own audience and kind of keep them following you as well which is great and if you want some advice on what to do when you go live make it a q a format because i know sometimes when you're just staring at a phone and waiting for people to talk to you it can be very very daunting so that's my best advice make it a q a get people to ask you questions and help get to know them you're answering questions like if someone's asking you what's your favorite disney film and you say oh it's x y or z like tango oh what's yours tell me like let me know everyone what's your favorite Disney film and it gets that engagement going as well which is really good the next tip I can give you is about posting so this is kind of a sketchy tip to give because I will tell you what has worked for me 
um, post once a day at least. That is what I've done. I've posted once a day, every single day pretty much since I got into lockdown and used TikTok so much more. And it's helped greatly. I've gained a lot, a lot, a lot of followers. Um, however, other TikTokers will say post five times a day. I think posting five times a day can be quite hard. It can it can really affect your love of the app because it's almost like a chore sometimes. But if it works for you, it works for you. TikTok, when you actually go into the settings and say, I want to grow my account, it says post three to five times per week. So, you know, take it as you will. For me, posting once a day worked perfectly. Uh, the next tip I can give you is to make fun of yourself. If you have funny or embarrassing stories about your life, about yourself, tell them on TikTok. You just never know how many people might find it hilarious. Make fun of yourself. I made fun of myself and literally it got me 10,700 followers. Insane. The last tip that I can give is that if you're under the age of 16, you will probably have to wait to grow on TikTok until then, unless you had TikTok when it was Musical.ly and you've managed to gain an audience from Musical.ly when it was more of a kiddies app, um, then you may find it hard to try and break the mould because from what I have found, TikTok doesn't seem to favour younger creators because of the whole, because of the fact there are a lot of older people using the app, it doesn't tend to promote under 16's content as much, if at all. Um, however, I've found that some people who've hit 16 and started posting more, their content has actually gone further. So that is it. That is all the tips that I can give you. I really hope this helps some people. Um, I know this is what I've followed and it works. If it works for you, let me know in the comments below. Tell me. And if you've got TikTok, follow me. Um, I'll leave that in the, in the comments below as well. And um, I will see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.